designation. What's the permitting council do then? You don't review applications. You don't. You don't. When you make the designation, what does an algorithm do it? If a project meets the criteria for a covered project, meaning it is subject to NEPA, who reviews whether it meets the covered criteria? I do. Oh, okay. So you do make a determination. I make a determination that it meets the criteria, and the minimum criteria is that it has two hundred million dollar investment, subject to NEPA and multiple federal approvals. That project meets that criteria. Uh -huh. So you, there is a decision-making process. You're part of it. You've, you've approved this. I, listen, I mean, I, this is the same story that we get every time, and that, frankly, farmers and workers in my state get every time. It's always that, sorry, there's nothing we can do. The corporation can get whatever it wants. Want to take the land? Fine, go for it. Want to designate this as a high transmission zone? Fine, go for it. Fast 41? Absolutely, we'd be happy to do it. But farmers are told, oh, you have concerns? <laughs> there's just no place for you to be heard. And now you're telling me that you just didn't have any discretion in it. There's, you're just a functionary. The corporation can just get whatever it wants. Maybe that is the law. I doubt it. If it is, it needs to be changed. But I'm just here to tell you on behalf of the people of my state, I think it's outrageous that a private corporation can take this kind of land. We're talking about a massive corridor right across the central part of Missouri. We're talking about taking land from farmers from whose families it has been for generations. These are not corporate farmers. These are small family farmers. They live on this land. They don't hire lobbyists. They don't appear before your agency, clearly. They don't have any voice, obviously. And they're just told, you just gotta suck it up and take it. I just have a problem with that. I mean, I just think it's ridiculous. And frankly, if, if, if you don't have any discretion and your agency doesn't have any discretion, I question why you exist. I mean, if, if you really just are rubber stamping whatever comes before you, let's just shut down your council and replace you with a computer algorithm if you don't have any discretion.